Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you part four in the factory to table series. Behind me is Coltac. We're gonna go inside, meet up with Dustin, and make a silencer cover. Here I am inside now, significantly warmer than outside in New Hampshire this time of year, and I am with? Dustin at, with Coltac. So we are here today to make a silencer cover for this guy, so I don't get any mirage. And I think our first step is gonna to be to find some colors, right? Find some colors and we're gonna program it up so we need to have the right size. Let's do it. All right. Right here, we have tons of different colors here at Coltac and looking at kind of the color path of the mini fix, while I could go with something really fun and loud in the vein of Q, I'm gonna probably go a little subtler rather than the neon orange. I think I'll go with this gray. So what are the dimensions of your suppressor? So the diameter is gonna be 1.75 inches and our length is 6.5 inches. And this is going to basically cut the whole pattern out for right. right, so this is, this is creating the pattern. So now um, our machine will know, it, it knows, it takes that length and diameter, does calculations and knows what size um, it needs to it needs to make it to Very cool. cover up. Now that the pattern's laid out, it's a matter of we just getting got this thing going, right? Yep, we gotta send it over to the machine. All right. Play. Looks like it's done cutting. And so obviously we weren't gonna just cut my one silencer cover out. Right. There's a bunch of other stuff cut, but this is it right here, correct? Yep, that's, that's your, the start of, that's the base of your cover. All right, let's move on. Perfect. So for the binding, I wanna go ahead and just keep it in there. Yep, keep is it in correct? as far in to the right as you can. All right. And then cut it free. Yep. There you go. All right. Good to go. We're gonna take the black straps because that's what that's what you want. We're gonna need three of them cut out at 13 and a quarter inches. So I can do that. We're gonna use the hot knife here so that way when it when it cuts them, it sears the edge. And do you cut one at a time? Yep. Okay. Try to prevent tolerance stack ups. And I will say when we're running, we have automated machines that cut these as well. When we're running larger batches. All like right. That's for big orders. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take one of the buckles and thread it through. This way, correct? Yep. And we hook it on there. Perfect. And you just wanna line up that fold there. Yep. And just a small little dab of glue 
hot glue there just to tack it in place. There you go. Hold it down. Perfect. They're a pro. You guys hiring? Yeah, uh, yeah. Idaho, Idaho isn't very different than here. All right, so yep, we're just going to put a small dab right in the middle there. There you go. Line that up. Line that line up with the end of that strap on the fold there. There you go. And again, this is just tacking it in place just so everything is nice and straight when we're going over to the, to the bar tack. So this right here is going to be the actual like heat resistant material that's going to be backed on this? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so we need to find one that more or less fits? Yes. All right. So these are our custom sizes. So this is six inch, this is seven and a half. Um, like our standard size, I should say. Custom size we usually cut out with the cover itself. Um, so it looks like this one will fit. So getting down to the end here, we want to test fit the cover to the actual suppressor. So we lace it through here and we intentionally cut the straps long just because when we start making it, there could be some inconsistencies along the way. And so if you look at here, we could put the, the last piece of Velcro on, but we're getting so close to the end okay. that the first couple heat cycles, this whole thing will stretch a little bit. So you'll run out of adjustment. So we're gonna end up cutting back probably about an inch, maybe even an inch and a half. Okay. And then that's where we're gonna place the last Velcro piece. Awesome, sounds good. So you're just gonna take the ends and, and touch them up against there to seal them. So we have the new program on here. We're just gonna do a box around the outside and we wanna get the Velcro centered in the fixture here. All right. And once we are, we're gonna hit the pedal all the way. And it sews it on. good Sweet. yeah when we first started we didn't we did all these by hand and like even on the big orders it was like 
sewing a bajillion squares on it. Yeah, very good. We have this thing sewn up and where are we at now? Final inspection, we're just gonna go over it, make sure all the threads are trimmed up and that there's no debris on it from the process. Usually on the ends there's some some extra threads here on the tails, so we'll just clean those up. And then we'll melt all the, the little threads that are okay. frayed. Just give it a quick little torch and looks good. So then yeah, we would probably, again, just make sure everything fits and it's easier since we have the actual suppressor here. We have a bunch of dummy suppressors that we test fit all the different sizes to. And do you usually go outside and then inside? Yeah, I usually do. I usually do the two outside ones, and I get them part way tight. And you want to make sure that you tuck in the overlap there. Okay. You don't want to have it butting up against there. And then now, once with the middle one, you can actually start tightening it down and then revisit the other ones and then yep revisit the other ones then you can really get them tight and bam look at that awesome yeah i'm super thank you so much for your time oh thank like, you for coming by this is awesome really appreciate it man it's fun this right here wraps up part four in the factory to table series and again really appreciate the opportunity to come out here and yeah, really stoked on this. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.